It's Warcraft Day. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay quest. This is going to be from the replay quest series where anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays. To know more about how you can send me replays for the replay quest series, please join the Discord server. Link to that is on Twitch panel and in the description below. And uh, don't mind this. This is such a reforged. Reforged. Just have a, such a buggy game ever since the launch of Reforged that you just have to deal with these things. And there's really nothing much you can do about it because the devs, well, not really doing too much about it either. So we have the replay requester right here, Mofat's wanting in as the uh, teal undead player at the six o'clock. His ally, when Bob spawning in as the teal human at at the nine o'clock they are going to be playing up against uh, well, two players that we are unaware how to pronounce names well if anybody in the chat knows how to pronounce these names you can just type it there in english and i'd be glad to read it but otherwise we're just going to call them as orange human and orange work on the top right at the 12 and at three going to be orc and human versus uh, human and undead let's see how this turns out to be and for some reason i think we're zoomed in a bit too much maybe it's just me it's probably just me. just trying to get used to do a big screen now oh, guys just bear with me been using a laptop monitor for pretty much the entirety of my life and <laughs> this is probably the first time i'm Seeing work after the big screen like this as the altars are coming down and we're gonna have the hero selection go down in a bit. Mofad is also uh, also going in for the late hero. We got Fars here coming in this side. Archmage, so summoners on the side of the team orange. Bob going in for Paladin and Mofad is likely going in for Death Knight. This will Players usually favor Death Knight. There we go. And for the hero. Uh, twice there for Mofad as the uh, Bob is dealing with a annoying little scout peasant that looked like it was going into the, the creeps there but backed out at the last moment gonna come in and fight again perhaps just gonna stay there for a bit I don't know what heroes the opponents are going to go for no scouting by any of any other of the players though we got footman coming in it appears that they're going for a rush Archman going down and Archman is going in for the assault there uh, or a human going in for the assault. Bob. Bob should be prepared for this. As you see two footmen heading in towards the side. Peasant backing out. And uh, Farseer ready. Farseer also going to go towards Bob's base. Bob ready with the Paladin. And I think he took the best to counter any kind of harassment. With the Paladin there you can cast so much holy light there. 252 mana already in the tank to be able to heal your stuff. But the Paladin is being attacked. Paladin is being targeted, gotta back it out a bit. Where is Mofad? Mofad's coming in with that Death Knight. The pact is sealed and the Death Knight is on the field. We got a tower there in the back coming up, but it's getting targeted. Gets taken out. Here comes the forest here. Bob is in a hell of a trouble right now. Death Knight is here. Too bad it can't heal him, but can use the Death Coil. And the Paladin's likely gonna get taken out there. There's absolutely no chance of survival. Mofad and Bob already on the back foot. They got a huge, huge loss in the early get go, and their opponents are going in for a full uh, tier 1 harassment build with uh, summoner of heroes there, Farseer and Archmage, both having those summons in the front end along with their uh, units coming in from the back end. It appears to are going for something different though. Archmage being targeted, Archmage gets taken out by Mofad. Mofad saving the day for Bob. Staying in there and managing to take out the Archmage off Orange. And now they're gonna do something to be able to push away the Farseer as well. Here. Gonna back out a bit. Got a full HP and got a lot of mana left in the tank as well. Probably gonna come back into the fight. Uh, tier 2 have been coming in. I mean, you know, that's the brand actually. His barracks and warmers, everything's late. He didn't have any of the military units on the battlefield. I'm not really sure uh, why is this tier 2 this late. I'm, I should have already been clicked. Already been about 25% uh, done or something. Because I'm pretty sure Mofat, well, he's already, he only just clicked there. Paladin being revived. 
What's on the side of uh, the human there? He's all, oh wow, he's, all, he's he's gonna be the first one to take it appears. Orange human is gonna be the first one to take it. This is a super early tech for, for the human right now. It's This it seems to be as early as, yeah, this is definitely the early one. Uh, this is sort of a build that, well, I don't think, I'm not sure if there's any anybody out there that still has this like build already planted in, but if you don't go for, go for the third farm as a human player and you don't go for the third footman either, you actually have enough f enough uh, gold and enough wood to be able to like check up if you save in that fashion. That seems to be the case. He didn't, he didn't go for the shop, he went for the lumber mill as uh, it probably was progressing. Tier 2 is ready and if you do this, your tier 2 comes in really fast. This is ideal if you want to get your MK out as fast as possible as the second uh, hero there. As uh, Team Teal is going in for the uh, Goblin Merchant Camp in the middle of their bases. Scourge Bone Chan is going to be the item that they pick up and that'll be pretty good actually. They're going to have a, a decent number of melee units so it should be good. Including the Death Knight there. And uh, it appears to me Team Orange is going to creep that one camp out and then go in for the assault. They probably just wanted level 2 there or not. They only just started though, but their harassment is just going to be much more devastating with the level 2. We got Brilliant Sora right now, so the Archmage is literally a walking, talking mana fountain right now. That's going to be helping out the Fars here, get out more wolves. Uh, well, not really more number of wolves, more more frequent wolves than uh, having to run out of mana. And there's an entrance there. They're going to go into the base of Bob there, Bob and Mofad rushing towards their base, rushing towards Bob's base there and uh, one of them one is already inside, they're going to kill so many of those peasants, the town hall is upgrading, are going to be done upgrading in the moment though. And uh, here they come but they're blocked! They are blocked right now, footman can enter but everything else is going to have to deal with everything here before they go in. They finally managed to break the blocking there, but, still, but Bob losing so many pe peasants right now. This looks terrible for Bob. He's gonna lose almost all his peasants, and uh, right now um, Team Orange, they can just TP away. They they already dealt the damage that they wanted to. They can TP away. This is done. They already, like, completely annihilated the economy for Bob there, and now if they TP away and come back with a safer game, this is just gonna work out in their favor. And for a moment, it seemed that, that the Holy Light or this uh, Paladin actually healed the Archmage, but no, that was a footman behind there. And uh, oh, he just wanted level 3 there. He got himself to level 3 with the Farseer and then TP'd away. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, there was a Paladin in there. Huh. Oh, being stuff for I don't really know, man, what the hell was happening in there. Okay, so there was a Paladin in that fight there, and the Paladin is also going to benefit from the Brilliance Aura there. We're going to have much, much more healing going across all the board. Now, think about a Death Knight that can literally heal anything. That is the Paladin there. Although the Death Knight was the reverse Paladin, even described within the game. Because we see more of Death Knights, we're going to have to refer to the Paladin as a reverse Death Knight. Because that's what we see more, as we have Bob and Mofat getting level 3 at this camp over here. We got uh, Lionhorn, but we already had that with uh, the Paladin there, so no, no use of that at all. Like, no use at all. Unless until the Paladin is ready to use the Tome of Reach. Are under basically, pick up, uh, basically pick up um, Divine Shield, which is useful. I think you should just pass it on to the Paladin there and do that, actually. That would be better for them. Level 3 on the Archmage now as well paladin dagger though because we've got like three together now if you got positions like these when you have like the shop between you i basically had an idea that i discussed with uh, one of the guys that i play 2v2s with what the hell we got griffin riders super fast tech 3 griffin riders coming in baby along with the storm hammers upgrade wow this is gonna be devastating for the opponent team so what i was talking about what you actually place on your shops here that way you can control this area because this is not too far away from your base you can basically control the entirety of your side and you won't there will be the very less chance of you not knowing if your opponent passed by there as uh, team orange is going into deep in towards their uh back side of the territory there i'm gonna creep out the camps one by one while well, both at the bob going in for outside territory actually they're not golem that's going to be a dangerous time to creep out. 
Double four on the forest here. Got Berserker upgrades along with the first uh, attack upgrade on the Shoals here, and we got some attack and defense upgrades on the Griffin Riders as well. Now, Team Mofat and Bob have no idea of this. They got no idea of the Griffin Riders. And these Griffin Riders are gonna pack a punch. We also got Knights, by the way. Not gonna have that many Knights, but we're gonna have some. We got uh, Steel Forged Swords coming in as well. The attack upgrade for Griffin Riders and Knights. Gonna pack even a bigger, <laughs> a better punch. And these Headhunters, or rather Berserkers, having sort of a hard time taking out the big camp, their big granite golem, but they do manage to take it out. And oh my god, so many rock rolls. Need some wolves there in the front line there. Probably got taken out or uh, probably in cooldown there. But I must say that Orange is doing a pretty good job of not letting any of the Berserkers die to the creeps. We don't see any corpses here, so none of them died. He got a medallion of courage for what he uh, crept out there, so that's pretty good. And we got Cloak of Flames actually for Mofad, and wow, that's actually a pretty good item. Banshee's coming in for Mofad, and Curse is not really a bad spell used a lot and can be used and we upgraded to possess later on as well and uh, now he sees knights now he sees griffin riders and now's the time you gotta be concerned because those griffin riders can two shot the fiends if they want to and if team orange tries to do that where's the farseer we need the farseer in the fight right now there's really no way that he can he can actually tp here and then come into the fight but i don't think he should pick up this fight alone yeah he definitely should not pick a 2v1 fight griffin riders are not but they will? Wow. Griffin Riders one shot the Optimus Chachu there. What the hell was that, man? They got the second attack upgrade and now they're gonna get the second defense upgrade coming in. Although, personally, I would just prioritize the third attack upgrade to be honest. <laughs> no expansions by any of the players so far. On the po um, pocket, that would be a good idea though. Backside. Pretty nice area. Likely not gonna be act without uh, being detected we got level 5 on the forest here now and i think it's a good time for it to just back out because it's not gonna gain any experience by attacking the creep but we'll get the gold and the item before the cram gets crept out a player's forces are under attack we really notice that flag a lot of detail there we have a bigger screen Different riders are of course gonna ease the creeping pattern, like you need to just take out anything you want except for the ones that are immune to magic. And of course the ones that are literally piercing damage that can just tear apart the Griffin riders. You got a lot of magic attack and you got a lot of piercing damage now. A good combo, although the, some of the Griffin riders are cursed and the bad thing for Griffin riders is that they actually got slower attack speed. So... They have more chance of getting cursed, uh, um, missing their attacks with the accurate, uh, with the curse on them. As uh, Team Orange goes after the shop of Mofad, Mofad and Bob are nearby though. We got some anti-magic shells coming in on the hero. Oh my! Anti-magic shells are the counter to magic damage! Why didn't I think about this earlier? This looks bad. Archmage being targeted! Level 4, a TP away. They took out Mofad's attack. He's still mining because he's an undead player. That's really the only benefit, but Mofad Lord has lost his tech right now. He got the slaughter of the Temple of the Dam though. Damn. Okay now I think it'd be a good idea if they not Players they don't make Griffin Riders anymore. And with the Griffin Riders that they have, which they kinda already committed to. I think it'll be a good idea to just use them for harassment. Just send them to the back line there. Just murder all these peasants because they can definitely do that. Maybe try to take out the castle just like they did for uh, Mofad's uh, Black Citadel there. As Mofad and uh, Bob going in for the Granite Golem camp on the right. Gonna pick up the expansion camp there, and yeah, that's a lot of damage. The bouncing attack there <laughs> deals so much damage there. And the players' forces are under attack. But what happened to the nightcrawler? Did the nightcrawler just went to sleep? 
<laughs> I think the Nightcrawler just went to sleep there. Yeah, the Nightcrawler went to sleep. <laughs> While the entire uh, everything else got murdered there, the Night the Warlock Nightcrawler basically just went to sleep there. And oh, move the bomb coming in. They tried to target the um, units there. I think bad idea. Turtles kept some distance. Now they're trying to target down the uh, fiends one by one, attacking the attacking any of those magic uh, bald units is a bad idea but they're actually getting through they got through the anti-magic shell for one of them we got still still got like four griffins on the field mofad is on the back foot he may lose the him that night wow managed to escape by an inch there we still got griffin riders that death knight managed to destroy by an inch This game looks great. We got a big fight going on between Bob and um, the orange player there, Orc there. Bob got some melee units, but he got a Torn Chief and gonna use some Stomp on that. All the economy for Bob had been compromised by orange human. And Mofat is doing everything he can to put him away, but another anti-magic shell placed on the Death Knight there. Torn Chief didn't get taken out for orange. And Bob won the fight! Bob won the fight against the Headhunters, the Berserkers! Farseer, forced to deep, run away. Lich of Mofad, oh my! Death Coil and Holy Light at the same time, but of course Holy Light strikes first. The speed of light, greater than the speed of coil. <laughs> Bob coming in. Bob gonna help his ally, or rather help himself in this condition after his opponent I think this is a good time for orange to TP away Team TL coming back into the fight sort of but I don't really know how they're gonna deal Bob's economy is completely disrupted Paladin gets taken out Team Orange is letting their stuff die he should just TP away there's no reason for him to die right now wait his ally I guess I just came in here, but I'm gonna have to deal with two players alone right now, and he is doing it. And more death coil? Not yet, sadly. Everyone is definitely gonna fall to those knights now. The knights got like nine armor, the second second armor upgrade, and plus five with the plus five level three devotion aura. Are you kidding me? Like seriously? Freaking level 3 devotion aura, man. Those knights aren't gonna take any damage, actually, if you think about it. What's the reduction there? I mean, what's the reduction when you're in devotion aura now? What is the devotion aura? There, there is it is. 46%. That's almost 50% reduction. Griffin Riders are back into the fight. And the Griffin Riders are definitely gonna deal a lot of damage to the knights now. I'm gonna go for some creep camps, but really the Torn Chieftain is the only one that's gonna level up. Rather gain any experience. But the problem is like you had two level five heroes soaking experience but not gaining anything, so it's a bad thing. Um did Mofa even try to put down yeah he definitely put down his Encropolis there, but he didn't get it up. Now here's a bad thing for Mofad's base now. If Mofad's base gets attacked while they're not at his base, they can't TP here because of no Necropolis there. Level 4, we got an everything being put down with shield there, anti-magic shell. I cannot soak up so much magic damage there. Farseer gets taken out! And I have to see how many Griffin Riders attacks it's gonna need to actually take out the anti-magic shell and then take out the hero, but the Griffin Rider is likely gonna fall apart until they uh, actually take it out. There's more on the side of Mofad and Bob right now. They're doing phenomenal right now. Part of losing their tech, losing the economy for Bob earlier, and not once but twice actually. If you think about it, they're doing phenomenal, repelling the opponent. And this is a bad idea. I mean, sure you had the aviaries built in, you got tier three, but knowing that your opponent's got like the shells counter, you don't want to go for these. You definitely don't want to go for the Griffin Riders anymore. Before until they could break through the shells. Opponent is gonna annihilate you. Go 
the more anti-magic kills coming in and yeah because 46% damage reduction with the level 3 devotion aura wasn't good enough just wasn't good enough so we're gonna cast more anti-magic shells there of course there's a two different purpose there but you get what I mean they're gonna have more sustainability their friend is being pulled down to the ground and this is the time to target them down but we got like Oh, there's a time to upgrade on them. Wow, third defense upgrade on them as well. They're dealing so much damage right now. They can actually tear apart the anti-magic shell right now, if you ask me. Two griffins down. Four coming in, though. We need. We don't have enough griffins right now. We have the ore player coming in. Already set up an expansion in the back there. But they don't have enough firepower. Where is the Farseer? I don't think the Farseer went down. Paladin goes down. actually did went down. Level 4 on that Archmage for Bob now and one of the players leaves the game. This game goes into the hands of Mofa and Bob. That was good. Kind of like the third attack and defense upgrade for the Griffin Riders. And then Bob somehow managed to nullify that with the anti match shell. And uh, this game is also a testament to how strong anti-magic shell really is think about it um, anti-magic shell gives you like 300 uh, it gives you like 300 uh, on your 300 more HP that's 300 more damage that you can take from any kind of magic attack or any kind of spell damage so that's huge and this was a testimony this was basically a testimony to how strong that really is and I have a strong feeling it should be nerfed and it should definitely be nerfed. I mean the thing is once people start using it too much then they should definitely gonna get nerfed. Anyways hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching listening. If you have if you have seen don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more. I'm seeing you on the next episode of Warcraft Day.